Hi, welcome to this tutorial where I demonstrate how to improve the latency of your audio inputs and outputs with VoiceMeter Banana. Here you see my Instance of VoiceMeter Banana and I have a couple of output devices. Currently on A1 I have my line output on a Sapphire 6 USB device. On A2 I have my HDMI monitor. And on A3 I have my headset. What is really important to don't get any static or corruption and low latency is that you will align all the sampling rates of all your devices. To do that, go to the Windows Playback Devices and make sure that for all devices in use by VoiceMeter Banana that on the advanced tab the format has the same sample rate. As you can see here, I have set it to 24-bit, 48K, and that's similar to all my other devices. Here you see two-channel, 24-bit, 48 kilohertz, and also for a couple of other devices. So most devices that support both 24-bit and 48K, I have set to those two settings. However, not all devices um, support this. For example, my microphone that's listed here, the Samsung CO3U, does support 48 kHz sample rate, but is 16-bit. So the most important thing here is that the sample rate is set to 48,000 Hz. You go to system settings and here we see that the sample rate for most devices is 48,000 Hz, but not the output device. That is because the preferred main sample rate is still set to 44,100 Hz. If I switch that to 48,000 Hz, we'll see that all sample rates are now aligned. If we now lower the buffer setting, Then we see that the buffer size for the output device is lower to 256. I can already notice that there's less latency, but it's still not really workable to actually monitor your voice. What we can do is switch to exclusive mode. Here you see that the buffer sizes are currently still pretty high. But even though they're high, the latency already improved. It's even better if we switch the engine mode to Swift. Yes, this definitely has a really good latency. I still have latency, but it's much better than it was before. However, it seems that these settings do not work on all systems. Let's try to lower the latency even further by reducing the buffer size. As you just seen, there was a lot of information presented and you didn't hear my voice. That obviously indicated that it wasn't working. So 128 bytes is too low for my system or my drivers. Let's try something else. So now it's set to 160. And I definitely noticed that the latency is improved. I still have a little bit of latency, but it's good enough. This is really workable. And you can see that as well on, on the buffer sizes here. This states 160 and this states 80. So these settings are really stable on my system, but only if all devices on the system for recording and playback are aligned on the same sample rate. So, try to lower your latency and let me know if that works for you. Good luck!